Well, solving gun violence is complicated, but many in our community believe there are solutions. 10 TV's Kevin Landers hit the streets to talk to those who have lost loved ones to shootings and those who just want it to stop. Columbus is on pace for another record year of homicide. These kids these days, they don't cry. They, they cry bullets. Kids cry bullets these days, and that's a cry for, for help. Calvin Cox told us he's had family killed and injured from gun violence. Half these kids don't, don't, don't got a father, a mother, a grandmother, a cousin, an uncle, anybody that's really going to help them out or got them away from, from any violence. Taisha Davenport lives in the Pine Tree Village Apartments, where police say 15-year-old Trayvon Dixon was shot to death April 20th by another 15 year old. She says the gun violence has made it risky to drive in some neighborhoods. It makes me scared to go into certain neighborhoods because of the stray bullets and the drive bys. And Others see easy access to guns as problem number one. We have a big problem in our city with firearms. Sean Bell is a concealed carry gun permit owner. He says poverty also plays a role. This is the hilltop west side of Columbus, impoverished neighborhood, basically. You know, people are out here trying to do what they can to survive. This parent also blames violent video games. Our video games that we play teach kids how to shoot. <laughs> and then they get out here with these guns and think that it's okay to do the same thing. In the communities that we traveled to from the east side to the west side, everyone agreed there is not one solution to solve gun violence in our city. But they do agree on one common denominator. They say if you want to fix gun violence, it begins in the home. Reporting from the Hilltop, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.